Hello people and thank you for joining me today. This will be one of the first videos of my new series covering the NALCS and today I will be going over the power rankings, my power rankings for the NALCS Spring Split 2016. Now sadly I can't do all of the teams in the NALCS because it will make the video way too long but I will be doing the top 4 teams in the NALCS. Now remember these are just my opinions and you should take them with a grain of salt but I would love to hear what you guys think of my opinions in the comment section below and I'd love to hear your top teams in the NALCS your top four teams in the comments below also please like the video and subscribe if you like the uh, content so for the first team we're going to talk about coming in at number four is going to be Cloud9 now a lot of people might be confused about this because Cloud9 had such a horrible summer split in 2015 but I think that was just a case of them having growing pains for moving on from High in the mid lane and High was a great shot caller for Cloud9 throughout the years that he played from him and then to replace High with a rookie in incarnation or he's now called Jensen and Jensen for being his first time playing on stage he just didn't play that well compared to how I think he can play I mean he's Danish so we we already know he's gonna be a great mid laner just look at Bjergsen so this year not only do they keep Incarnation who I think is gonna be a great mid laner in the middle but they also add on the additions of Rush and Bunny Fufu as support now they're keeping Kai in a role as support which I believe they're just gonna use him to I guess groom Bunny Fufu into a great shot caller but Bunny Fufu was probably one of the most underrated supports last season in the summer split and you also have Rush shoes arguably one of the best junglers in the world not just in NA but he's probably one of the best junglers in the world he constantly goes over back to Korea and gets number one and their solo queue Koreans take their solo queue super serious so cloud nine takes the number four spot now the second team we'll be talking about on this list were the 2015 summer split champions coming in at number three we'll be talking about CLG and that kind of rhymed a little bit number three CLG Yes, but anyway, that might be a surprise to some of you that they're coming at number 3 as they just lost their two carries in the mid lane and at the 80 carry position, double lift and pull belter. But if you look at this team, this team wasn't just double lift and pull belter carries everyone. It was the role players in COG that weren't double lift and pull belter put double lift and pull belter in great positions to get kills and carry the games. Now they probably have the best support in NA, Aphromu. Aphromu was number two in assist last split at 225 and he was also number two in kill participation last split at 78.5 percent this leads me to believe that aframu will be able to put their new ad carry stick say in a great position to get as many kills as he possibly can and to carry games they also have one of the most underrated top laners in the lcs and darshan who was formerly known as Zion spartan and they have a pretty solid jungler and X Smithy, who a lot of people don't think of. But I think that COG will be able to be at least a top four team this split with their great coaching staff, as well as with the addition of Huhi, who was originally supposed to be their mid laner last split. Now, Immortals, in terms of potential, probably have the scariest team in the NALCS right now. And that's the sole reason why I have to put them at number two on this power ranking list. Now, they are they took arguably the best top laner and jungler in the European LCS and they put them on this roster. Then they go out and they take Wild, uh, Wild Turtle from TSM, who at one point was arguably a top 3 AD carry in the NALCS, but he kind of had a down split due to him being a little bit reckless in his approach to the game. All he needed is was someone to sort of rein him in and keep him from going over to deep end when he's jumping into team fights, and I think Adrian is able to do that. Adrian let the uh, let the NALCS and assist last split with 239 assists. He's arguably one of the best supports in the NALCS and they took Pole Belter from COG and put him on this roster also who's a pretty good mid laner. He's not the best mid laner in the world, he's not the best mid laner in NA, but he's a solid mid laner who you can count on to put out some damage in team fights. So the thing about this roster is you have carry threats from every single carry lane. Rainover can carry a game at any time, Huni can carry a game at any time, while Turtle can carry a game at any time and pull belter can carry a game at any time the problem with this roster is how are they going to communicate and 
who are they gonna run through? They're most likely gonna run through Rainover and Huni because those are the two biggest names on the team. But they are able to run through any player in any lane at any time throughout the game. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this team comes together and how they cope and how they communicate and how they do in a spring split 2016. Running off our list and our power rankings will be TSM coming in at number one. Now when you look at the new TSM roster you can argue that they have upgrades at every single position except for maybe Midlander. But the only way you can upgrade from Bjergsen is to maybe add Febovin or Faker. And it's no guarantee that either of those two would be upgrades and there's no way that TSM will get either of those two players. Now when you look at top laner, they moved on from Dyrus who's a very popular, very good top laner, but they went with Hanser, who I think plays very similar to Dyrus, except for he's more consistent, he has better map awareness, and he has better teamfight prowess. Hanser carried Gravity to a very good spot in the summer 2015 split with his teamfight presence and his laning. You also have the two top killing NELCS players and Bjergsen and Doublelift. Doublelift was number one on the uh, list for kills with 117 and Bjergsen was number two with 107. You have the uh, the old Fnatic support Yellowstar who was the leader in KDA in the EU LCS and he also was the leader in assists. Yellowstar could very well end up being the number one support in the NALCS in 2016. And you also add on Double lift, who was probably the best AD carry in the NALCS. Not much more you can say about there. And then you have Sven Skarin, who was the jungler for the former powerhouse SK Gaming, who were the number one team in the EULCS in 2015 Spring Split. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to hear your opinions and your top five teams or top four teams in the comments below. Thank you, have a great day.